Well, it's been more than a year since the lights went out in the Big Brother compound. The show was axed and reality TV lost one of its original hits. But this weekend, the house and a beloved housemate are back, all for a good cause. Tonight, we are going to discover the truth behind those rumours. It's one of the most controversial shows in TV history. And David Graham was one of the most unforgettable. In the 2006 season, Farmer Dave came out of the closet to the whole country. I am the only gay in this village. But you have been straight before, so... Yeah. I thought coming in here that I still was attracted to female, but leaving this house, I know that I won't be at all. Since then, Dave has showed off his moves on Dancing with the Stars. And this weekend, he's back in the Big Brother house for World Vision's first ever 40-hour famine lock-in. And Farmer Dave Graham joins us now live from the Big Brother house. Morning to you. Tell us what's it like to be back in the house. Absolutely as bizarre as it was going in the first time, the second time is just, just as bizarre. It's, uh, it's crazy. It's a different format. The whole, uh, the whole configuration of the house is different, but it's still the same space. So everywhere you look, there's still a memory. It's, it's crazy. And I've got all new housemates um, in with me this time. And uh, it's, yeah, bizarre is the only word for it. Well, tell us what you and all the other housemates are doing. This lock-in, what's involved? Okay, well, obviously, World Vision's 40-hour uh, famine um, is, is done everywhere, and, and we're doing it inside the house, so we don't have the temptation of, of having uh, food on or television where we can actually see any food ads, although we do have a few, um, a few ads around the place, and there are pictures around the house of, of meals, which is a bit painful. <laughs> but um, we're just absolutely going without food whatsoever for the, the whole 40 hours and, uh, and trying to appreciate what it's like for those people that are so less fortunate than us that have to deal with what we're doing um, all the time and uh, I tell you what we are we're pretty famished last night I was I was on the brink of actually trying to trying to leave because I was, I was absolutely starving yeah just living that shows you doesn't it what, what some people go through every day now a large portion of those mm. funds raised will go to Cambodia and you went there a few years ago yeah. um, and so mm. is this why you're doing it that's close to your heart absolutely you didn't when you see when you see people that are in absolute poverty and they can't do anything about it because of so many different factors that are going on. And, and a lot of parts of the world, especially Cambodia, a lot of these things are actually getting worse with the rise in, in food prices. So you, you, just, you just feel like whatever you can do, you will do. And, and for me, that's, that's going back into this house, which is, which is a pretty big move. But uh, whatever I can do to help those people that, um, that need that help. And uh, I think we've already, our target for, for being here was 10,000 um, amongst the, the housemates to raise. And I think we're going towards 20,000. We've far super, surpassed that. So there's a lot of people out there um, that are really willing to donate and, and give up for the cause. Yeah, look, it is a wonderful cause and good on you and everyone yeah. else in the house for doing it this weekend. Dave Graham, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks a lot. Thank you. After the break, we'll have news, sport and weather again and the new X Factor.